you're tuned in to the Yellow Boys Podcast. Type Eagle with the Precious Crew. I go by the name of A2. I go by Rick Good. This is Sandia Sammy. Midwest. Jonathan the Great. Oh, and we back again. How y'all doing today? Cool. Cool, man. Terrible. Cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Good. Good shit. I knew that. butt. Yeah? Just poop. Just, Just pure poop. butt? Yeah. Pure butt. Oh, man. Yeah. A no, uh, little bit of fillers. Didn't know mm-hmm. butt could be tainted. I'm BBL. Yeah. I don't know what that means. This is how much mm-hmm. ass okay. I am. Oh, okay. So you a uh, fake ass. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I see the uh, podcast is it's coming up a little bit, right? You know, getting a little stronger. It's like we've been Way working out. Up. Like we... Uh, been doing some push-ups. I feel like we dropped and uh, did fifty. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> going right out the gate with this shit. <laughs> right. You know, so um, as you all know, the uh, the six god came back with a response, and uh, I wanted I wanted to start out with that because you know it's gonna get here. Might as well just might as well just dive right into it. So. I want your response. My response? I want to see what you thought. I want to know why you're starting this conversation with a size seven man's on. I mean, listen, okay. I mean, I'm it was a, cool. I'm a size nine. All right, get it right. But just like every rapper that drops a diss, they yeah. don't go hard right at the end of the song. They mm-hmm. say, yeah. I have more like mm-hmm. info, more dirt. Like yeah. this is the light version. It's going to get harsher than this. But, yeah. I mean, it's cool. I mean, he has some. He ruffled a lot of feathers, he, shall I say? He, he, he not did. just Kendrick, but yeah, multiple people. Who's, mm-hmm. who's that? Who's that dude that does that animation? Um, oh, uh, oh, you seen that oh, one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he had like the, in the, he had the, the, the studio gallon. and he was laying in the bed and he woke up. You talking about that one? Nah, nah. This is one dude. So he he always has like. So for uh, what was it? First person shooters. He had like. Um, he had like Drake and he was doing his verse and then like when Cole came on he had like the aura and shit like he was like Dragon Ball uh, yeah, what was that? Uh, and then he lost his bus pass but um, he had he had Drake on this one and like when he started going off he like gets the infinity gauntlet like he's Thanos and shit cause going yeah. after everybody and whatnot. but I was like I, I, when I first heard it I was like eh it's a six it's okay yeah and then I listened to it again and again and whatnot. I can give him some respect as as a as a Drake hater, yeah. I can I can give him some respect, right? How do you feel about your boy Lupe? Well, when he said I'll that, battle anybody anywhere, Lupe well, came before out that he said, "Oh, well, he said Kendrick Drake ain't like is a better artist than Kendrick." I can say rapper. no. Rapper artist, same thing. Lupe yeah. said that. You said what? Lupe said that? Nah, yeah, I, I disagree with him. Lupe's been a day one Kendrick hater, though. <laughs> mm, he kind of he kind of was hating. I mean, he yeah. He feels no, like he, he, he's, hate. Yeah. he can out-rap him, so, yeah. I think I think if you're going to try to say he's a better artist, nah. I mean, like, and, and it may be me. It may be me now and not exploring Drake's music, but I ain't heard nothing that I was just like, wow. It's just like, he's got a bunch of singles. He's got a bunch of music that don't really, like, I mean, Tussy Slide changed the game. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> no, I mean, it's just, I don't hear anything from, from Drake that I'm like, just, just blows me away. You know what I mean? But th- th- it's me just not exploring his music. That might be it. All right. But. Oh, there it is. JKD Animator. That's yeah, the name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He came out with the animation yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. Shit's hilarious. <laughs> I will say, though, I, he, he did exactly what I thought he was going to do, though. He he pulled that uh that Will Smith shit and just did nothing but short jokes. Like pip squeak pipe down. <laughs> hey man. The person who got it the worst in that entire diss track. <laughs> Metro. Easily Metro. Yeah. Yeah. Metro, shut your ass up. <laughs> and <laughs> make some drum. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Like it was his playtime or something. I mean, <laughs> shut your ass. Go make some drums. <laughs> there's there's a there's I was one I saw. Do that anyway. It was it was like some uh, some old school, uh, some old game and whatnot, but it was like he he did it like the whole eight bit style. And it was like Metro drumming. <laughs> I was like, dude, like that shit's funny. I can't lie, that shit's funny. But um, I decided to go over the numbers. Oh, you know, because I was curious. I keep I was curious what the gap was because he was talking about like, you know, 
he was like, you know, SZA got you wiped down. Uh, who else did he talk about? 21 Savage and Travis Scott. Yeah. And so then I was like, okay. I mean, what are you going off of? Like first week sales? And I, I, I learned something. Probably more so what? buzz and popularity. I mean, but that's, that's the thing, though, is that compared to Drake, Kendrick is outselling him on like first weeks. Cause like you look at the last two releases that they did, all the dogs did somewhere like four hundred, and then um, Mr. I don't Morale. think he's beating them in numbers either. Well, I mean, when we're talking about like first week sales though, because that's that's how he's talking about it. It's like you know, in that context, he's saying like they outsold you, uh, but like, damn, outsold him. Outsold like his last two releases combined, and then as a total, he's beating them by like a couple hundred thousand. So it's just like. If you really gonna talk about being the greatest, you better be like miles ahead. When it really ain't that far. Who's got more monthly listeners on Spotify? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I hate Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, he's he, it's it's that, and then him talking about the whole like him doing splits and whatnot when he was like with baby. He was he was like, what was it? Was it a, a push T? Like that last thing yeah, he did, and he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah them, them shits split different when you split it with baby or something like that so i mean mm. i'm like yo i'm excited i want to see the response he did it he did good though like yeah. i i can actually say that. i give drake we'll, some props we'll get in a couple years nah <laughs> yeah according to them <laughs> yeah. he's not gonna respond until his album but that's just rumors. yeah mm. i don't know yeah. i don't know you think anybody else is gonna respond uh, come through I mean, with some like, diss tracks. I mean, what? Rick I don't Ross think they have did. the ability to. Uh, Metro come out with a diss track. <laughs> 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 if he does, man, that shit it's gonna be, be all drumless beats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come back with some Andre 3000 shit. <laughs> I mean, the weekend will probably send some more shots. That was it. When he drops an album, that, that was that was the sweetest diss I never heard. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see John Morant respond. Oh, wait, who John Morant? Yeah. Oh yeah, he dissed him too. Wait, he did? Yeah. Because he I be was responding on Twitter and all mm, that stuff. They was taking shots. They was both, I guess, involved with Lotto's sister. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. that's what it, uh, what Joe Budden said. Yeah. All the beefs stem from Drake. Just fucking it's everybody. Either sleeping with the women they've been with, or mm. stealing your girl, mm -hmm. whatever the case the, may be. Uh -huh. Got to put away the. The drizzy glizzy. <laughs> Put that <laughs> shit away. Oh, God. I'll say this, though, man. It always puts it in question because, like, he's, uh, it just ever since that, that accusation of him, like, using ghostwriters, you can't tell which is his. Yeah, so that was a question that I had to Alex when we first started, when we first listened to it. Yeah. I was like, I bet you he wrote this because you don't, you don't let a ghostwriter write your diss track. Like, this one thing you just don't want to do. What do you think? You guys think he wrote it? Or you think... I mean, I don't know. Like, none of these dudes are in the studio by themselves. They mm -hmm. have their whole camp. So if we're in there and I need something, like, throw me something. Mm -hmm. Throw yeah. me something I can go off of. And you just put something out there. Like, all right, I'm going to piggyback off that. So who knows? I yeah, mean, that's, that's definitely a team effort. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, if I'm like, man, give me, give me, give me a lane to go in. It was like, all right, look. Uh, Talk about his, talk about his height. All right, whatever. It yeah, is like, yeah. Um, it's like homework. Like talk about his height. All right, what do you want me to say? Okay, word for word. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, it's yeah. just ideas, right? Yeah, and I like said that's okay. fair. Okay, if he, if he wrote that, like if he got ideas and then wrote that, that's fine. But, but he, he just put it on streaming today, so we can look at the oh yeah the credits other, and see who's there. There are already other people on it. I mean, it was like maybe two other people on it yeah. mm -hmm. but one was a producer and then there was another person listed so people yeah. are already talking they got about a, like it. nutrition facts where drake's the third person on there <laughs> 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 uh, shit. let me see if i can All find right. that i'm gonna look it up <laughs> well, kind of died down there for a minute. um yeah uh the disc is out blah 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 who cares um Hey, good shot, Drake. I mean, I, I was kind of mad listening to the disses, all of them and shit. Uh, I really do. I, I like Rick Ross's. I really do wish that he would just stop talking about stuff, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I at the minute, I no, because all he's doing is just getting online and, like, just saying all the stuff that he probably could be saying in a diss. Or mm. somebody else probably could be bringing. Oh, up like it so when it's he, like you're you're wasting ammunition I on just, internet games. Like when he was on that boat and he was talking about that's where uh, Baby's house used to be. I don't really care <laughs> about that, but just talking in general, like you know. I mean, he's yeah. funny, but I just feel like 
he has no dog in the fight. Like. Yeah, like you're mad because he took somebody else off of a song. Like, yeah, all right. But French Montana is trash. So like, <laughs> I, I was like, no, nah, don't put this out. You yeah. suck. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I mean, everybody's ready. Everybody's been refreshing Twitter. I know I have. Just, wait for just what? Wait. What you mean for what? Brother, I I don't expect that shit to come for a while. Yeah. Ah, Cause hmm. then at that point it's like it's like the J Cole thing. I'm doing something because everybody's forcing me to do it. Like no. I'm gonna do it when I want. No, I'm, it. I'm sure okay. he's gonna respond. It's oh just, yeah, he's gonna respond, but it probably ain't gonna be when just because everybody say drop it. I'm not. A few weeks from now, I mean, there's already people buzzing saying that he's gonna make or he's got a new album coming in May next month. Yeah, so yeah. who knows? Oh, okay. So you uh, think it's gonna it be it's gonna be set up strategically? Up first week sales or whatever, because people uh-huh. want to hear what else he's got to say. Nah, I right. would hope that it's not that, because then you're just using this to sell records, and then somebody has ammunition on you, like you needed him to sell some some or, or boost your numbers, which looks bad for him. I mean, it, it obviously he don't need that. Like it's, it's clear. Yeah, I mean, need that. he would be the one person that. He don't need to use nobody's name to yeah. do True. anything. But, I mean, they can always go with that angle. But he still has a company, right? He still has a record company that has to... They're, they're going to try and get him to release it in a certain... Right, so they can... Yeah, it's so... It's a business at the end of the day. Yeah. Somebody talking shit, yeah. let me make some money off of it the right. proper way. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, beef seems to be the thing that sells or whatever, just gets attention. Yeah, like I was beef. like... What was it? It was like at 47 million views on YouTube music when I looked at... Which one? At... Uh, uh, Kendrick's like the oh the yeah like that first. I was like wow forty seven and I couldn't look at J Cole's because you know yeah it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gone it's <laughs> I will say that this has not been my favorite thing that's going on like this has been small potatoes in my world like mm-hmm. I don't really like cool they're going back and forth this isn't anything that's real yeah but the shit that's really popping off right now oh little Tay versus JoJo I knew it was gonna be some dumb shit <laughs> <laughs> that's where the real beef's at versus right? who. <laughs> I don't even know about it, so <laughs> exactly. You ain't in these streets like I don't I'm give in these a streets. fuck about JoJo Siwa. Yeah, well, this, that's real, real, real shit. Okay, you don't know. You think this Aubrey Lamar stuff is going on here? That's real. That's entertaining to you. Mm? So we paying attention to a little white girl and a. You said a little Tay. Yeah, little Tay. She's the a Undertaker. What? Yeah. She rose yeah, you from got the it. dead. Yeah. She's like, Doom. that's real shit right there. <laughs> that's some beef that I want to see get further on in there. Like, like, what are they gonna say to each other? I don't know, but I'm interested. <laughs> Refresh your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you also got Gambino versus Cuddy. Um, Gambino said he's on his last one, isn't he? He's like, he's about to get out of the music. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think he just said that. I don't believe him. He got like two albums he can drop. Yeah, and that's it. Mm-hmm. That's Gambino. Uh, you know he's bald now? Who else? Is he's he? Got oh, the yeah. Republican yeah. Royal Rumble going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm loving it. Hilarious. Um, shit. You got, yeah, Lupe versus the world. And then, uh, <laughs> Profe- Professor Lupe. Just, uh, angry. Yeah, man. Angry drunk uncle. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Go skateboard, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> uh, then you got Taylor Swift versus Kim Kardashian. What? Yeah. Oh, what? See, this is the season of beef, all right? Well, Maybe y'all so. ain't paying attention to your Twitters. Okay, you're looking at more of stuff that's just completely unimportant. Um, it's that, it's that warm what? weather heating up. I don't pay attention to Twitter because that's not a thing anymore. I pay attention to X. Go we don't give it to Twitter. We don't nah, call I mean, it I'm, on, I'm on Truth. Was it Truth okay. Mobile? Truth, 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 truth Essential? Truth you had it right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pay attention to the real shit going on out there. Stay woke. I mean, mm-hmm. Tay's going to win anyway, so it don't matter. You said who? You said Tay's going to win anyway. Which Tay? Lil Tay or Taylor? Yeah, Lil Tay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they should tag team it up. I mean, Lil Tay is going to destroy talent. JoJo Siwa and then come for Lupe. <laughs> if she destroys her, then they have to like remove all of her products from the store. She only selling bows. Well, what? Oh, she's selling everything. Except ass. <laughs> she's 20. It's okay. It's okay. She's gay. So she's start filling 20. in your brackets now. You said she's now. gay anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like you ain't never it's looked not. at a lesbian and be like, hey, girl. Oh, Lil Tay's clearing no, up. Not, not no JoJo <laughs> Siwa. He can't rap. I mean, you're right. She do got a big head. Did she come up to the, the to the mall? Like, Yeah. Yeah. Did she come up there and get it? You know, I'm not going to say the name of the you place. You going to give her a pretzel, dog? <laughs> 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 mm, you going to dip it in some uh, nah. icing? Yeah. <laughs> Why? They don't even mm-hmm. go together. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, whatever. I, I, but I know what you're doing. What am I doing? <laughs> hey, 
So I just didn't. <laughs> you wanted to. You wanted to flash in your mind for like a second. That's like it might be neuralized my, from my memory bank. Am I getting your blood boiling right now? My butter in your bread right now. You guys talking Sorry, about Wetzels? Man, fuck Wetzels. Right, right, right. And Sean. Damn. <laughs> Look at this shit. Actually, I can't even show y'all. Whatever. I'll pass on that. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. Beef. Uh, we should start a beef with somebody. <laughs> didn't we already? Well, didn't you already? With who? You know. <laughs> who the else? Bargain Sweet. Bin. <laughs> Bargain no, Ben. No, uh, I didn't start no beef with uh, him. Bargain Ben beef? Bargain no, Ben no. Mahomes? No, he's got beef. Well, no. <laughs> Not real beef. It's beef noodles because he can't afford anything else. <laughs> oh. You know, ramen shit. Totally. Totally. No, I've never done anything, said really anything to that dude. Yeah, he's kind of always just kind of tried to like bully you. Like. Nah, well, hey, hey. Right. Well, I was, I was like, <laughs> let me right. say, like, just Thank randomly you. take don't shots. Be, don't be Kyle. Every, don't every be chance Kyle. he gets, Thank he's you. taking shots. At there you. you go. Because Kyle will just be like, well, yeah, he's always bullying you. <laughs> like, <laughs> niggas just pressing me for my little <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Got to no. push into the locker. <laughs> yeah. <house. laughs> like, no, nah, let's, let's let's make sure we clear that up. Ain't that what bullies do? They they talk shit before I, it gets physical? Bullies? I don't know. i never been bullied. I, ain't a, I mean, I got bullied in elementary, but it was by a girl. Mm, I mean, she, she likes like you. I don't, I don't she pushed you. She probably sand. did. Well, yeah, as an expert bully, we usually get physical first mm, yeah. with a talk, you know, mm -hmm. just as an intimidation method. See, yeah. that's why you're short now. <laughs> 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 Worth it. <laughs> yeah, pipe down, pick, pick just like <laughs> <laughs> I have to hike down just to have this cup. <laughs> Man. So the whole the whole so. rap universe is embroiled in battle right now. <laughs> mm hmm. Meanwhile, 50 Cent's starting up his own movie studio. <laughs> he gonna have full it's production the, like this. Is like just right. The, somebody said he's he's the male Tyler Perry. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Oh shit. I didn't even hear about that. Yeah, you just announced it today. Shoot, where's he going? In uh, uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Louisiana. I mean, yeah. He's like the Jay Z of the. TV Niggas. series movie industry. yeah yeah because yeah. power is his his production right yeah and well Man, he's just like documentaries anything like he's producing a lot of stuff huh? green light gang you know what it's called what I swear to god it's g unit studios oh, is it really man. hey man that's what you do you rep you guys would do the same thing we need to come was, on man no, you would you would have final four studios no, or something and, okay in like 30 years if y'all got that kind of money got, <laughs> and then y'all open a record studio if if like right now we started making like all point studios right yeah that's fine but g unit hasn't been relevant since like what 2009 yeah, hey, this is his way you, to make it you, relevant you watch your mouth because there was a man out there when he was doing the little press Thing, you know, announcing it. There was a dude in the crowd. He was like, you about you were paid. You were paid to do that. No shot. He that was the time from uh 2005. That's who did that. Yeah, he was trying to bring it back. Nah, but um with 50 Cent doing his uh studio, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, like I said, he's got a bunch of shows and shit that are uh okay. It's the second largest black-owned film studio. Wow. Yeah, next to Tyler, Tyler Perry, Perry. Right? It's like 900,000 square feet. Good. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, okay. nigga. You say what? <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, man. I, I would say that uh, I do hope that, you know, he's able to put out, you know, stuff a little quicker. Like, I, I do watch uh, BMF, and I stop watching Power because fuck Tyreek. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all know. Ironically, I've never watched any of that stuff. Which one? Power, what's the BMF, mm -hmm. uh, Raising Canaan, Force. Yeah, all that. I'm never yeah. Uh, that. Power was cool uh, in the earlier seasons, in the mid season, in the later season. I was like, I'm cool. And then the the Tariq spinoff was doo doo. Uh, I never watched Force because people said it was doo doo. Uh, mm. I never watched Canaan because people said it was doo doo. <laughs> um, but BMF's cool. You know, it's loosely based on actually, you Tough know, things. you know, Big Meech. And yeah, yeah, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Talks but uh, I will say <laughs> that I do hope that if he's able to get his own shit going and he's away from like stars and stuff, then he's able to uh, put stuff out faster. Yeah. Like yeah. when we're talking about TV and shit, I'm kind of digging. Um, what's that game that we're playing right now? Oh, um, Monster Hunter. No, no, no. no. Uh, Hell Divers. Fallout. 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 Oh, you watch the uh, watch that. 
Yeah. Did, how, wait, did you watch the? Like, I've been binging it? Fallout. So you yeah. watched the whole? Well, you're almost done. I'm guessing, right? Nah, I'm probably like midway. They got nice, lengthy, girthy. Episodes. I know. I looked at this. It was like an hour and like yeah. 15 minutes. I'm like, man, this is TV. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give me no 45 minute bullshit. <laughs> watch a whole, <laughs> watch a whole movie as an episode. Yeah. I'm like, bring that shit. I like it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm hoping, like, I mean, maybe he can, you know, do some shit like that. But it's that Amazon yeah. money. But okay, yeah. so since you've watched uh, Westworld though, mm-hmm. can you notice like a little bit of that directing style in Fallout? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit. You yeah, know, it's kind of Western feel to mm-hmm. it. But I, yeah. yeah, um, I, man. Speaking of bingeable shows, what other shows are out there? I'm telling you, man, 97. Yeah. I want to talk 97. That's yeah. that's it. Yeah. All right, Jake, expensive your show. Real quick, okay. Do I need to leave the room right now? <laughs> no, nah, man, you can <laughs> nah. stay in the room for this. this, this. <laughs> you want to get you want to get spoiled on some shit though? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, nah, it's about to be spoilers. Yeah, but, but I do like, I don't like it <gasps> for the same reason that I'm talking about like uh, the other shows. Like it's a you know a weekly thing or whatever. I'm but like, nah, it? just just give it all to me right now. You want to? No, nah. oh, nah, that just goes back to. This society's attention span, because like back in the day, that's how it was. You get mm-hmm. one new episode per yeah. week. Yeah, and I think they, I bet they talked about that too, because '97, like they were like, it was '97. Let's drop an episode a week. Ugh. For come, come on, I mean, uh, but okay, the that's how you get ratings is, and viewership. Cause you can you get g- that still. It's you a build up. If you give it to them all at once, you know, you, you know, it, missing it, out. Nah, it go, it goes either way though, because like. Like a bisexual. You, you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so you got both examples right there. You got 97, which is like, what is it, a 9 out of 10? And you got Fallout that did the the just binge one, and mm-hmm. that's still getting them high numbers. I mean, they yeah. it was like, what was it, like a week, and they already got renewed for season two? As they should. But, like, it works either way. Um, but I think that I like 97 coming out uh, episode, like, you know, every every Wednesday. Yeah. Because what I've been doing for the last two weeks so I've been going back to 97, right? Mm. So I got me some bread. I put some butter on that shit. Yeah. Make me some hamburger helper and some peas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Went back to the childhood, <laughs> yeah. childhood meals. <laughs> it's 97 in that house with that shit's playing. Yeah, crawling to the fort with the chairs and the blankets. Man, I should have done that. <laughs> nah, Pillow fort. I, I don't like it, man. Like I said, what if I die? Well, then you'll have access to the infinite universe. So you can just watch all the seasons. Yeah, we don't know. Do. Well, and, and they come haunt proof. us and be like, ain't even proven yet. <laughs> but I kind of <laughs> like it that way because if it's once a week, that gives me time to do other stuff throughout mm-hmm. the week. Mm-hmm. But, but you know what? It, you know what it is, though, because right? Because now everybody's on the same page. Because if it, if all what is it, ten episodes? I, well, I, don't know. I think there's five say, or six right now. They yeah. Let's just say there's a total of twenty episodes. If they drop all at once, yeah. then you have niggas like call. Oh, <laughs> did you see? Did you, like, damn, I ain't even started. I'm on yeah, episode yeah. three, but like. If it's once per week, we all at the same playing field. I mean, Less. but what are we like, you know, six weeks in and we still waiting to like, you know, because yeah. we can't talk about it now. Well, that's because you got people waiting to binge it. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing other stuff. I'm watching other stuff. But here's the thing, right? And Disney, Disney knows this. Disney knows their play. Yeah. If they drop it every week, then you gotta renew your subscription. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's really that's really what it comes down to. They, they saw the hype that was like generating around. Them. Yeah, like, and okay. you know they're sitting in the boardroom like, oh yeah, we did a week at this, and we got you know this many months out of people when normally yeah. we would have got a free subscription with a new email. <laughs> I mean, they, they, right. they was looking at that like that nigga in the yellow that's just yeah. <laughs> rubbing the hands together. But uh, ninety seven is fire though. Yeah, I, I like the thing is though, and like Kyle said this, he'll say it when he comes back too, but. Uh, it has like adult themes, or, uh, our themes, I guess mm. I should say, and it has a lot of stuff that I mean they're talking about heavy, heavy topics. They're not in, in a lot of it. Mm. They're not just lighthearted, just joking around and stuff. Like they're dropping some stuff. Mm-hmm. It's not the Ninja Turtles. It's not the Ninja you know, Turtles. You got yeah, you know, <laughs> some old dude, you know, uh, uh, possibly, maybe. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember. How how many episodes are you in? I haven't started. Okay, yet. okay, okay. Never mind then. Never mind. Moving on. Moving on. What, moving what, on. what if? What if though? You know, you said Ninja Turtles. What, what? if they came out with Ninja, Ninja Turtles '88? Uh, <laughs> nah. But, but can, can I say that? Be, I'm, I'm not gonna try and spoil anything, but I will drop this, and you'll you'll catch the reference whenever it comes through. The ghetto though. Yeah. Like, was, <laughs> she called, and it wasn't even shouting out like just just like a block, a, a, a yeah. section of it. She yeah. said the whole. Yeah, like a ghetto. The ghetto. I, she, I thought not, she was talking about just Earth, though. No, yeah. she said <laughs> she, it wasn't the, a lie. She shouted out the galaxy. <laughs> I was like, "What? Like, what do we do? Everything wrong. 
<laughs> but nah, uh, speaking of well, space. Since you want to go there, um, three body problem. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you been, did you watch that? You finished? Yeah, I ain't got to it. What are See, you this doing? is my gripe. <laughs> There's so much content simultaneously yeah. that it's just so hard to like be able to consume as much as you mm. need to without. Mm. You know, digging yourself a hole. Like, nah, I gotta nah. binge watch this. All right, then I gotta binge watch this. Nah, then bro. I gotta binge watch this. Here's what you do, okay? First, you get, you build your computer, right? You get three <laughs> screens, right? And so then you do it. So you can just click one, click, click one, click. So you can just catch up on everything like all at once. <laughs> do it like I do Man, work no lessons. Time in the day. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Every day that I was watching that, it was just at night, like maybe eight o'clock or whatever. I sit on down on the couch, kick the baby out, mm-hmm. and then I, you know. You're a bigger man. You're a better man than me. I had the I babies right there. I was I like, they are cussing now. a whole lot in this show. <laughs> <They're> distracting, man. <laughs> I was like, Raina, so this is, what, this is where swear words were, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that now. The playoffs about to start. Ah, See, yeah. That's, that's your problem, Each game right? is like at least two hours. Your problem. We're talking about WNBA? Basketball. Highest viewership? NBA. Yeah, so, I mean, the, yeah, yeah, I've been watching both. Yeah. Everybody's been watching that's, both, man. Man, that's surprising. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, I'll be going to the gym. That takes me at least. Hour and a half, two hours. See, and I've been training my young in, in basketball. Okay, y'all don't okay. even know she played on a team this you year, but you know, what are we like supposed we to like be driving? No, we on you or some shit. No, it's, it's just like for the simple hacks, fact, right, you know, it's like we be What's hacking into your computer. Yeah. Y'all, y'all be hijacking the conversation, G-show. so I just sit back and nobody oh, okay. hijacks the conversation. You know, Kyle always want to tell his little yes, you know, his little soap opera story, his little doo doo story. Yeah, yeah. Side note: That's the last time we mentioned this fucker. Until he actually gets here or something <laughs> like that. That's like four times already. Fuck you, Kyle. Five. All right, go. <laughs> but no, so I've been trying to train her. So a lot of my time is like invested in like things. So I get like a small window to my like me time. Mm-hmm. So I ain't, that's really, really the reason why. I ain't, no, not that. <laughs> the real reason why I haven't had enough time to like start things. Right? Okay. How's that going? Coaching her and stuff. I'm not coaching. I'm just training. But I mean, that. I mean, now. You're it's pretty, essentially the same thing. Yeah. I mean, she's catching on. She's a quick learner, but sometimes it's like yeah. you get frustrating when you try to do something and you want them to <laughs> yeah get the newspaper out. Duplicate like, that. Mm, yeah. You be looking like that meme, that dude who's just sitting by his kid with the, <laughs> that little stare. Because I had it in me, like, pause. <laughs> no titty. But <laughs> this guy, I wish he had a camera on. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, like I said, I grew up on the door side when mm. I mentioned pie and the mess set and all that. Then yeah. Tim got shook, but... Yeah, I'm playing with like little gang members and street dudes and people older than me. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I had that grit that shit like you normally do. Yeah, I had that grit in me. Mm. Man, she's just a spoiled little girl. <laughs> yeah, like, man. you made it. You made it. That's yeah, you got to instill that fire in her. Cause sometimes she just be like lazy and just like checked yeah. out. And I'm just like, man, I got to see the effort. Mm-hmm. You know what happens when you get on the court with these girls? They don't care about you. They yeah. they gonna expose you and you know. You're going to be looking all sad after yeah. the game and it's quiet on the car ride home. But Caitlin Clark and her hairy pussy going to bust some trees <laughs> on you. Wow. What? Well, Where did right, that come right. from? Look, what was it? AB said that. What was yeah. it? Antonio Brown? Or Man, whatever? nobody <laughs> listened. <laughs> Man, you know, it's an extension of Kanye West. It's, like it's funny, though, because like, <laughs> it's funny, though, because like kids <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> Like, you wanted to, to give your kids a better opportunity than you have, right? That's just kind of generational stuff. Yeah. But, like, then, like, when they get in sports, you're sitting there like, y'all don't know anything about this. Like, yeah. you're trying to rough them up and tell them. All I mean, you care about is Roblox and FaceTime. Yeah, Dang. like, my kids, I'm out there in this, because uh, they both play soccer. I'm out there trying to teach them soccer and stuff. And it's like, I'm like, what do you guys do? You guys are going to get cleaned up out there with these other kids if y'all don't learn this stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's, that's funny. That's, they're gonna get creamed. That's, that's yeah. probably the benefit of like having kids after your peers, right? Because you can learn the lessons from y'all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like you know build up, you know, get a nice decent life. Build a danger room. No, no, I'm, no, I'm <laughs> just get a nice decent life that I can give them some, uh, give them stuff that they want, and then just crash it. Mm-hmm. Just, they gotta start from the bottom. So just they get break a taste, toys in front of them. They get a, they get a <laughs> taste of that good life and they want it back. <laughs> give no, that's how it is. Like even even games, right? Like my son, he's playing Hollow Knight. And um, he he was trash before. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he was trash at Hollow Knight, and he knows it because I told him he was trash. Hey. hey, man, it's a hard knocks. So uh, no, I didn't tell my son he's trash, but he wow. he knows he knows Don't my emotion right now. He's like just stand on. No, I mean, but so you know, I didn't, I didn't like, say trash, but he knew what I was wrong. talking about because I tell him the same thing as Smash. I'm like, I'm not going easy on you. You, oh, you gotta shit. earn it. But anyways, though, 
So he's playing Hollow Knight, and he gets tired like five, ten minutes, late, or like 10, 20 minutes later. He's like, oh, I want to play something else. I'm like, just because this boss was cleaning you up, you better stay on that game. <laughs> like, that's, I don't Stay know. in the kitchen. <laughs> you, you, you played Final Fantasy X, right? Yeah, I played ten. You remember Jack? Yeah. And yeah. Jet would just yeah. whoop Titus's ass. And yeah. Be like, you can't do it. I'm the best. Jet said, right? no, that's it, man. I'm over there like Goku staring at Gohan getting cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's, that would be me. That's nah, that's that LeBron where he's walking by Bryce and he's like, that shit broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, dang, yo, dad, just disrespecting you. Right. I don't want it. Nah, uh, I mean, I guess that's, you know, you're being responsible parents out there teaching your kids, you know, things and life lessons. I just, I mean, we finally got the girls' uh, bikes and. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're learning how to, uh, how to ride them? Ride bikes. Oh, that's always ain't. a fun time. Have fun Man, with that. No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't. Man, like our, our driveway is like at an angle. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So, so mm-hmm. I got to keep. You know, running keep out looking there. around the corner. Nah, man, because I got whenever they start, you know, going down the hill or whatever, then yeah, I got to rush that. down there just to make sure you know, Fina knows how to hit the brakes, you know, and she's 50 <laughs> 50 on it. But uh, Naya, Naya don't give a fuck. She's like, yeah. we rolling. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, dude. Like, it's I like steer well, into the grass. And it's man. like, well, I'm going fast. So why would I stop? Nah. I had that episode on the, on the podcast that, that once was on mine mm-hmm. where my sister taught me how to ride a bike when I was young and That's I didn't cute. know how to turn. Because I, you just, it's, it was something I didn't think about. I'm like, how do you turn? So I'm riding fast, right? In a parking lot. It was like Salvation Army or something. <laughs> And I'm riding straight for a fence. I'm like, I don't know how to turn. She's like, just, just lean, just turn. I was like, I don't know how to turn. I ran smooth into that fence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, you know, that's how you learn. That's, yeah, uh, I mean, scrapes, bumps, bruises, fences. The only thing I can remember from when uh, I was learning how to ride a bike, it's like when they took the training wheels off. And I had to pretend like I couldn't balance. So I went, like, rode down the driveway, went over to the other, like, the neighbors. And I was like, oh, no. If I, like, do it right, they won't put the training wheels back on. So it's just, like, <laughs> fake-ass, like, wipeout and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that, so it didn't happen. It did happen. No, it didn't. Shut it up. Did. Quit lying. Quit capping for the pod. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, man. What else is happening in the world? Um, Let's see. Well, uh, Sports. Well, we, uh, what? I know. Uh, boy Sam said he was like something big happening. Yeah, we we getting there. I know what he about to talk about. Yeah. I seen him. Seen him in the group chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I never mind. I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, what do you think should happen to Rashi Rice? Who that? The dude that plays for the Chiefs. Be that plays what? For the Chiefs, and he was in Dallas, and mm-hmm. they were cruising. Should be suspended through. for the season. You say he's suspended for the season? Yeah, that's just fucking stupid. That's, I don't even yeah. know what happened. They were okay. They were playing Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift and on, on Dal- Dallas Highway. This is oh, Dallas, and that's like ugh. Yeah. they be putting the fatality uh, <laughs> uh, rates and shit on the signs when you be driving down there. That's okay. how mm. deadly that highway is. So they did they end up uh, like killing somebody or what? No. But, you know, it's just one of them things where you just look at it and it's just like, you ain't got to do all that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Considering like, that the, I forgot the dude that played for the Raiders, he did the same thing. But he ended up killing, killing someone. Mm, okay. So I mean, it's just like, yeah, you got to let these young niggas know. They get <laughs> they get a little not- notoriety <laughs> and, you know, a little, a little, little money in their pocket. A little money in mm-hmm. their pocket. Once you start getting that's that it. salary, you represent the whole team mm-hmm. at that point. And that's yeah. kind of what it is. So you're right, suspension. Yeah. I mean, it seems. I mean, it can be. Half the season, the whole season, but it needs some to be kind something of like that, like some John ja Morant type stuff. Give them the first half and then not let them go the rest. There you go. Staggering. Check this shit out. <laughs> they were cruising through like this, uh-huh. and then that'd be me. Oh, that was, oh, they did that. Yeah. Oh, they were yeah. hitting. They it wasn't even Tokyo Drift. It was like. Yeah, but they, the worst uh, part about it was like it, burnout. They, were they out just there. hopped out and fled the scene. <laughs> Wait, for real? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Nah. No accountability. Nah, I'd be like, look, cancel it. Like, Somebody could have had a little go. three month old in a car seat yeah. in the back, or you could have had your grandma. Yeah. And, you mm-hmm. know, just like, come See, on. See, I thought that, they were dipping in and out of traffic you, and that you successfully. Just, you kind of just assume with that like minivan that they hit, they hmm. probably got some kids in there. 
Mm. Well, so. I mean, either that or they're just washed and drive a minivan. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Who would ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> Five, or was it six? We didn't, we didn't say no names. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's we, we're done saying names. <laughs> we, can, we can Aubrey this shit up, you know, and, and, and Lamar or Duckworth or whatever. Uh. You know, throw some subs, whatever. Throw some subs on it now. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely should get suspended. I do I, just, just bring him back in later when the shit starts to get real. So, you know, we don't lose. Got to make sure we stay champions. Piece. <laughs> yeah. And I'm kind of disgusting with myself for saying we. Ugh, I yeah, yeah that. right. I hate when people do that. You fully on board. I know. Might as well get another one in case they do move. Mm-hmm. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it's just speculation. Yeah, the mayor ain't going to let that shit happen. That's too much money in the city. Yeah. <laughs> Have a team leave and it just dries up. And then that place will really become a shithole. Well, would it be crazy if, like, they proposed, okay, we want to keep we want to keep the team together. So we're going to raise taxes. And then, like, put it to a referendum. I have a feeling that people would be on board for it. Hmm. Yeah. It's the one time people vote for more taxes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the Chiefs in town. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, it's crazy. The things that people, you know, they money and 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 just the way it changes people and the the crazy things that they'll do, mm-hmm. you know, how how absolutely shitty people can become to make money or people that have money are just sometimes shitty people. But sometimes the things that they do are in favor of their city or where they live or whatever. So, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes they'll try to get a stadium built or something like that. They'll donate, you know, some money to, like, a shelter to make themselves look good. Or sometimes they'll throw, like, a little music fest or something like that, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Okay. Elsewhere fest. Hey, <laughs> we've arrived here, baby. It's <laughs> Sam, take it away. Why am I taking it because away? Because you were in the fucking group chat. Going the off most, about these brothers, one of them's dead. I'm the most boring person to talk about. This Shut shit. up and talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. How can I have both sides of this? All right. So, Coke Industries, mm-hmm. huge fun. No. <laughs> uh, they funded a lot of far right shit in the U.S. Uh, trying to push the Overton window further and further to where everybody's just little diet fascists running their little hoas and everything. <laughs> you said and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, the Homeowners Association. Uh, mm. they're, just, they're just baby Hitlers. Basically. That's all they are. You can't have your trash can right there. It's got to go four feet to the left. <laughs> 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 Every time I think about HOA, it's always that like shriveled old lady. That's like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just a little side tangent. I feel like if I was in a position where I had enough money to live in such a community, uh, mm-hmm. I would fuck the woman running the hoa <laughs> just so I could do whatever I want. I'd wow. use it as blackmail. <laughs> just be like, that's right. I'm going to paint my fence purple. <laughs> but, 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 ah, uh, you, ah, ah, you know what you did, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Terrell Owens, HOA incident. What? What? T.O. Terrell Owens. What yeah. happened? It was a while back. He, well, he, you don't well, remember anyways well no, you can't bring it up and then not say nothing if if the listeners out there know just youtube terrell owens hoa but anyways <laughs> yeah continue <laughs> you knew i will no anyway so they're funding all this fascist bullshit putting up a whole bunch of far-right propaganda etc 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 Top of that, they have huge connections to the people at the top of the Israel regime. One's Bibi Netanyahu and Itmar Ben Gavir, who are currently enacting a genocide upon the Palestinian people. And they're the ones who are putting up this festival mm-hmm. with, of course, the biggest <laughs> the fucking <laughs> sellout ever, Killer Mike, goddammit. What? He was the chosen wow. one, man. What happened? <laughs> Motherfuckers out there shedding tears on live TV. <laughs> All these rioters out here breaking my windows. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, for real? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Back during the Black Lives Matter they protest. Wow. Took my business. <laughs> <laughs> who don't cry? Who wouldn't cry over their business? Man, fuck you. <laughs> nah, fuck you. Every single song he's ever done is like, we gonna take over. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. In a, in a con, you know, a controlled <laughs> manner, not breaking the windows. The run the asylum. You got to yeah, break laws, like... not windows, Sam. Okay? <laughs> All right, Whatever. you're too far left. <laughs> <laughs> you're too far left. But, <laughs> break laws, though. 
So, that's yeah. not how I meant that. <laughs> I just want to clear that up. <laughs> hey, that should be the title of the episode. Yeah, I was thinking that too. So everybody's yeah. giving all the artists who are local artists who are in the show a whole bunch of shit and being like, oh, you're supporting this, da 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 mm. And like, I get it. Mm. But at the same time, if you're in Wichita, everything goes through the Coke hands. Yeah. Every single fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Even the Stevens. <laughs> Even the Stevens hey, hey, sucking hey, that Coke oh. dick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, it's just like, man, if you have a shot, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And you're in Wichita, you're not going to up and move your whole life. Yeah. Like, just take it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean. W- would I? No, I, I wouldn't. I'd go work there. You know, depends I on how much they paying. I almost did, actually. Yeah. You know. I'm like, shit. Yeah. Well, if the money talking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, I'm walking, see, baby. <laughs> I wouldn't feel bad about working for them just doing IT. Because we are not generating money for them at all. Right. We're, we're costing them money. So my conscience is clear on that shit. So every day you go into work, you don't play, you know, public enemy. Fight the power. <laughs> you heard about the what? The Google then then like ninety some people from Google get fired for yeah. protesting. Google? Really? Yeah, because the they, they were in the office, right? At, at, it was they were in the office. I mean, it was like it was like a uh, Google was funding like Israel or something another another. Mm. So the they went out the protesting. Day, Google was like, yeah, y'all out. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's like at the end of the day, most businesses are probably going to lean right because. They give tax breaks to businesses and whatnot, yeah. for the most part. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just like anytime that you patronize any, like you, you're a customer anywhere, you're probably paying into something that you don't like. It does not matter. It's like the whole um, no ethical consumption under capitalism, right? Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. just is what it is. But I do also understand when it's like directly tied to mm-hmm. the people who are giving. Yeah. So much money directly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's a lot different than like mm-hmm. going to McDonald's. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. I mean, I disagree. You don't think so? Yeah. Because you don't have to go to McDonald's. You don't have to. You don't have to go to McDonald's. <laughs> but if it's but, convenient but the and affordable, uh-huh. it the McDouble, you <laughs> it is proven, it is scientifically the most incredible invention ever um i will disagree the macros to calories (laughs) to fats to carbs right like yeah the amount of one mcdouble has 17 grams of protein what if your side chick work at McDonald's? Against you 330 calories. Well, you first, if my side chick work at McDonald's, she better let me know when that McRib is good. No. <laughs> 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 no, I, I just look at, I mean, the whole thing is, uh, for anybody in Wichita that's complaining about this shit, you know, trying to be on your fake liberal bullshit, <laughs> your bitch ass is going to be out there, so shut up. <laughs> Vince Staples is going to be there, and you're going to be like, oh, I know every word you say. Oh, I got your shoes. Like, fucking when shoes. is season like, two fuck. dropping? Yeah, like so. <laughs> I'm like, and it's the fact that we're in fucking Wichita. It's boring as shit here. Yeah. All right, we're finally we take what we can get. Yeah, shit. <laughs> we're finally getting some stuff. Like something's happening. Like, go. I've got it. What? I know how I can still win. You gonna <laughs> his moral code? Check it out. Hop the fence, get his bro. telescope out. Because <laughs> I'm all for the people who are currently organizing a protest outside of the event. I'm all for it. I'll throw oh my, my weight behind it. I will. Get mm-hmm. hosed but down. check it out. Get off the <laughs> but check it out. I can also go protest. Mm-hmm. But what we do. Mm-hmm. Is we do our own show outside of that show. <laughs> we play our own music with our own speakers. Mm-hmm. We do our own performances. <laughs> Y'all get cussed out. They're gonna have drones flying around shooting beanbags. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go get the fuck out of here real quick. I, okay, I would say that for people that are going to go to this and protest or whatever, just do what you will do, but don't light yourself on fire. That's so fucking stupid. Oh yeah, that was just new, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Outside the tr- outside the, the Trump, like, case, Trump it's court. a case though. It's not so, even like his presidency anything. It's like I it's a court. I, I, I already so looked it up. That was wild. I already yeah, looked yes. it up. I did my little boop, 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 research. Cool, cool. Mm-hmm. I did it all. I even archived the PDF. The dude did post the manifesto. Mm-hmm. Okay, it has okay. nothing to do with Trump. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whenever I first saw it, yeah, I was like. What motherfuckers out here like, oh, my, my big, beautiful boy, Trump? <laughs> Wait, so what was the reason? Listen, though? people, I'm going to set myself on fire this time. This is going to be huge. It's yeah. going to be big. Millions of people are going to do it. We get only I wish. Did. I wish we had the camera. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Whenever he does, like, the Trump thing, go watch his face. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, the only way that you could do that shit. You, you, you got to be in character with that yeah. shit. Yeah. You got to embody. So what's the, it was the hottest fire. Believe me, a lot of people. <laughs> 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 the head no. all uh, way 
<laughs> no, uh, the dude posted a manifesto. He was he wants people to read the manifesto, obviously. But yeah. He wants to call attention to how <laughs> both of the parties in the U.S. are playing the same game. It's this yeah. whole like technocratic bullshit, like a kleptocracy, and they're all just planning on taking all your money and just tanking the global economy while they fill their pockets which i mean it's been happening since okay. forever mm. you know what i mean really okay. since the imf under jimmy carter kind of an interesting time to choo- choose to you know such it such was fire though it was more obviously the there's gonna way. be a lot of reporters outside of trump's yeah. trial yeah. Okay. Okay. so he just picked the place to do that so basically where there'd be a lot of eyes <laughs> on him he did this because he knew it was gonna be a hot topic Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. Out of here. Dad jokes. <laughs> out of here. You ever watched um, CSI, like whatever, uh, what Horatio, who are the fuck? Yeah. The guy with yeah, the glasses. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those moments. <laughs> but yeah, nah. I, I, cool, man. You want to protest, you want to bring awareness to the fact that the world is ruled by politicians and rich people. Like, who didn't know that? Like, what are you going to do to stop that? Like, light yourself on fire? That's <laughs> really going to stop that? Like, I hate when people do stupid shit like that to try to change things. Like I said, you got to break <laughs> laws. Break but but like, I mean, you, <laughs> you say that, but do you remember, I mean, Tiananmen Square, like, people still talk about that. What did he achieve? What did he, stuff what like did that. he like, achieve? Like, when people, no, I'm just saying, when people light themselves on fire. Yeah, no, people but do, I'm saying, like, th- what did he achieve? What did I, th- I, think, I think it really does uh, depend, too, on what on what your cause is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like when it comes to an extreme act of protest like that, yeah, it really has to be something that has weight behind it. That, All right, that, that's, that's that's one of the big problems is that more people are going to remember him doing it in front of Trump thing and associated exactly. with that. Yeah, than yeah. Than Versus so like, of course, then again, even if it is a just cause, like with uh, what was his name? Uh, the T- last one, T. Quan Duck. Oh. Back during the Vietnam War, mm-hmm. the oh, okay. like, most famous image ever. Yeah. Of, it's yeah. like half him on fire. And mm-hmm. That just got used as a Album, album cover, cover. yeah, <laughs> you know yeah what I mean? right. So, eh, like, congratulations, like. But but he did draw a lot of attention, a lot of eyes onto how mm-hmm. the Vietnam War was fucking up Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, okay, but Aaron Bushnell's self immolation <laughs> drew, drew a lot I'm, of okay, you're, a lot of new I'm eyes on the, about just the people conflict. lighting themselves on fire. But you're not getting, you're not saying flame on and getting his powers, <laughs> and then you're gonna go take down the corrupt government, or whatever. Like you brought attention to this for. Two weeks. I mean, granted, these people are, uh, you know, from the the Vietnam War and shit and everything. They're remembered for what they did, and maybe some my some yeah. nerd might know their names. You know, uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I would say if the war went a different way, then they probably wouldn't even be remembered. I'm just saying, yeah. like, the person that you were doing this to oppress or not oppress, but oppose, they were still in power. Like, nothing you did changed shit. You're just a, a person who lit yourself on fire and you're remembered for I, laying yourself on fire. I don't want to get stuck on this for All too right, long because it fine. will just be us going back. Nah, yeah, fuck yeah. that. You know, <laughs> here's here's the I, thing. Got but the I would 100% argue <laughs> that, like, let's just do a more recent one. Not this dude. I, I don't know his name. But if we go to, like, Aaron Bushnell, the guy who went on Twitch and set himself on fire outside mm-hmm. the Israel embassy here in the U.S., mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. completely changed the conversation in the country. Mm-hmm. A, you lot, think so? a lot more people. Like even that sounded condescending. I, you know you think what I mean? so? No, no. I mean, it's just like <laughs> a like, lot more people are <laughs> two versus one. No, <laughs> are less like Israel has right to defend itself, and more like what's going on? I I think that really started to change when you started to see people um, start to post like how many like because it was already you know you you had like people out, like outlets talking about how the the deaths that happened on October were vastly outweighed, and then you started getting images and whatnot. Like yeah. I think that was just something that kind of like caught some attention but i think it was already trending in that direction no i mean for sure i just think it spiked it up especially whenever because he was like active military Mm -hmm. you had military people across the country and veterans across the country also out there now suddenly feeling what he was feeling and also for like you wouldn't have seen so at least in my opinion you wouldn't have seen so many veterans and active duty members I think it made a difference protesting just, this shit yeah, you know yeah. what I mean I, I just think it through more I, I'm not saying people should do it I'm not no, I'm yeah, not right, right, right. I'm not condoning it I don't think anybody <laughs> should do it but if you are going to do that as the most extreme form of protest that there is it has to be behind something that yeah, yeah and yeah. I think it just really like, really matters if I, there's other people who are involved in and basically to push the message after you so please don't go Johnny Storm outside this concert yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. unless 
Unless, Uh-oh. unless you are Johnny Storm. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting into the middle of a, you know, a, 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 a whatever. Fuck, in a middle of a something, whatever. Cool, you gonna light yourself on fire. It's, it's not sexy enough. All right, oh. jump off a building, like do a flip or something. Oh, no. <laughs> like get a little pool on the back of a semi truck and then jump into the pool and ta da! Like what's you done? Like in the in the Palestine War, whatever the fuck. I don't care. Like do something that's gonna get somebody's attention. Be like yo, that nigga, like, he, that guy's good. <laughs> that boy good. He real good. Like uh, just don't kill yourself. Like, ugh. but it. I mean, Sam has a good point. Like there are we i mean you guys talking about like you know current events and stuff like that you guys know about it you know some of it not a not whatever it is but there are people who just had no idea what was going on mm. and now they have an idea what's going on yeah. yeah i mean that's that's kind of the that was the a lot of the point right i mean if you would have come out because I've, I've been going to these open mics right and there's somebody who talks about what's going on in sedan mm. if he would have come out and said like he was doing that because of sedan like there'd be people like, what are you talking yeah, about? What's going on yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. And then they would then understand the conflict that's going on out that yeah. way and how many people mm-hmm. have been dying yeah, and stuff. Right. So it's just like, I mean, he brought awareness to people who just, they were like, oh, I kind of heard something from it, but everyone's in their own bubble mm-hmm. worrying yeah. about inflation and, and Swifty yeah. stuff and all this stuff. I would say another way like <clears throat> to do that, make a hot song. I didn't know anything about the Blood Diamonds until Kanye came on there and told you me that You know what happens forever. when people do that kind of political rap. You become a mortal technique and no one listens to you. <laughs> Whatever. It's bigger than hip hop. <laughs> well, what about what? the mortal <laughs> technique? <laughs> I, I know wanna, that's not <laughs> mortal technique. That's dead press. Oh. I want to drop some lyrics from uh, Michael Jackson's right, uh, uh-huh. We Are the World, but I don't know his lyrics. So <laughs> Nick is trying to uh, fuck with no. Mike. <laughs> I want to. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't look at me, Nick. <laughs> Got to be aware of my surroundings. My bad. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. In case somebody pulls out. Get too hype over here off this. You put out a lighter and some gasoline, you know. I might want to. Speaking of. How I'm, I'm on the All Points Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. I don't know if you guys. <laughs> just crashes out at DreamCon. <laughs> I don't know if you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys have a break coming up or not. But uh, I was going to say. Speaking of. Speaking of hating. Don't go to Brother Barrel Jazz. Open uh, mic. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, if we, don't, if we on it. I mean, all right. They they pissed me off. What what, sir? What did they do to you? All right, so here's what here's how it goes down. So I frequent. I mean, I'm gonna try to keep it quick, right? So I frequent a bunch of open mics, a ridiculous amount of open mics. Cause Cause there's so many goddamn open mics up in Seattle. They got one every day of the week. Every fucking multiples day of the week. every day. Of the week. I don't even know which ones to go to sometimes. So anyway, so in reality, it's just reality now. Actually, every, everyone everyone makes fun <laughs> of me because they're like, freedom freedom music. I always go up there. Here, <laughs> I always go up there and I say I'm half of a center reality. It got to the point where they're like, where's the other half? I said, oh, okay, I mean, I everywhere I go, I say half of a center reality mm-hmm. anyway so i saw this jazz open mic and i was like i guess i'm going there thursday right i made a point to not do the other ones and go to that one mm-hmm. so i go to this open mic i sit down my friends like hey i want to go with you i want to see what it's all about i'm like all right cool so i finally hype myself to go on stage because they got a live band they got a bassist somebody on keys somebody on drums and it's all jazz mm-hmm. I'm like bet i could do some of my poetry stuff some of my slower stuff it'll be fun so i finally hype myself up the people at the table where you meet people at that table like they're all like yeah you should go up there well then the host he comes over and I've been talk- I've been hyping the host up. He plays saxophone, he plays flute, he sings, he does all this at his open mic. So he comes over to me. Um, this is the second time I go there. He comes over to me and he's like, So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna sing? I'm like, uh, it's gonna be original. He's like, Okay, sing it. What are you gonna sing? I'm like, mm, all right, uh, I don't know yet. I'm still kind of figuring out. He wants okay. to sing it on the spot. On the, on the spot. Like he's, like, well, what's, he's like, well, what's the name? What's the title? I'm like, it's, I mean, I don't, I don't know yet. So then he leaves and everyone's like, that's kind of weird, right? Like he just. That was kind of a weird way to approach somebody. And then other people go up. Some mm-hmm. people at the same table I'm at, they go up, they come back down. Then he comes over to me again. He's like, so what's the title? What are you going to sing? Because he can't be hip hop. I said, okay, I understand. It's a jazz open mic. I understand what you're talking about. Yeah. He's like, no, it's, it's, it's got to be jazz. It can't be hip hop. cannot be hip hop. It has to be jazz. And I'm, he says this a lot of times, right? And, and he's like, so what is it? What before? is your song? And I said, you know what? I'm not going to go up there. I have no reason to go up there, sport this open mic that you have going, right? I'm not, I'm not going to go. And then uh, other free people around the table are like, no, 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 you should go. You know, you've been trying to hype it up. It's been like 10 minutes. You're trying. To... I said, you know what? If the host doesn't want me to go up there, I have no reason to go to this open mic. There's plenty of other open mics I can go to. <laughs> yeah. So my friend starts talking to him because she thinks that I had actually already performed and he heard me do hip hop and he, he didn't like that style. She told me that afterwards. But I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. Don't even don't even you don't even have to talk to him about it. We just won't do it. 
I go to the bartender and I say, you know what? I really like this establish- establishment. The food was good. The music's good. I like it. But respectfully, I'm never coming back here again. Mm-hmm. Then I go and I post it on, I use, you know, uh, extended realities. Uh, <laughs> Instagram to post it as well. Mm -hmm. Some other people bump it. Other people are asking me what's going on. I said, you know what? I'll take the hit for you. Just don't go to this open mic because I don't want you guys feeling harassed like I feel harassed. It was, Mm -hmm. and so on my way out, I'm passing by and he's got my name already crossed off the list. Damn. Right. Like he he has skipped me and crossed my name (laughs) off the list. So I'm like, you know what? If you if you if anybody goes to Seattle and looking for open mics, I'm gonna say this right now, Brother Barrel open mic. Don't go to it. It's in Lake City. And um, it's part of, I forget the the main establishment's name, but if you look it up and you see it, do yourself a favor, don't go there. They're racist. You know racist. what, man? I won't say racist, they're prejudiced. You know what, man? <laughs> we need to go up there. We yeah. need to go up there. And since it's the season of beefs. <laughs> and I had that, I had, <laughs> I had that song on the background on the story as well as on the reel. And I posted it, I think I posted it on TikTok too. I posted it everywhere, that song in the background. That's all it was, man. I was in a, I was in a mood. <laughs> anyway, so so I'm I'm getting that off my chest for you yeah. for all your listeners. Is it just Brother Barrel or was it this dude and he has his own like a uh, you know you know so, open mic company type thing or whatever? Nah, so this dude's the host for Brother Barrel Open Mic. Hmm. I don't know how what he has with the establishment like what because the owner. So I posted on so I, I post on Google quite a bit. Google, um, I'm a Google local guide right mm-hmm. where I post a bunch of reviews and I review stuff. So. Um, I went on Google Maps, went to their spot, posted this long thing. My friend posted behind me. Shout outs to Chelsea, she's <laughs> awesome. And then the owner, I don't know who it was. They po- they review, they replied and they said, uh, what they say? They said, hey, you know, we talked to the staff and figured out what was going on. It seems like you came here before, and you know, there was a little misunderstanding. And so I updated my post and I said, first of all, I never went on stage before, so he knew nothing about me. Yeah. So whatever they told you was wrong. Was a but- lie. But I, you know, respectfully, I'll never go back to your establishment again. So I it didn't. I don't think he was the owner, mm. but I think he was the one who sets up on my mics and he's trying to get more people to go. He told me that the first time I went. Mm. He's like, I'm trying to get more people to show up to this. I was like, okay, awesome. I'll, I'll promote it. Not anymore. Man, man, the so. best revenge would to be hit his, hit his girl like Drake, <laughs> <laughs> and then give her your music. So when she's with him, mm-hmm. he's like, who's that? Like Rick yeah. Hood, it's in the mm-hmm. reality, and then mm-hmm. it'll it'd be like, oh, and then he's gonna it's gonna <laughs> click. Like that's the dude I crossed the name out. Of. What you know? What I told I, I think I told Alex this before. I said I'm gonna do like Warren Buffett did, right? So uh, Warren yeah, Buffett, <laughs> yeah. he went to Berkshire Hathaway to try and get them to help him out, and they mm-hmm. said no. So then after he got big, he he bought him, mm-hmm. and now Berkshire Hathaway is like the one of the largest, right? right? I said that's all I'm gonna do. Whenever we get big, I'm buying Brother Barrel. <laughs> I'll just that's it. First thing I'm gonna buy. And then, <laughs> what you damn. gonna do with your money? <laughs> <laughs> so that's no. what's gonna happen that's crazy that's that's what you would do with your money that's exactly what i'm gonna do with my money like there's no like maybe maybe not like that's that's exactly what i'm gonna do with the money hmm. if i get when i get that money mm-hmm. yeah all right i know get what i do money, i get my money what's that definitely stay the fuck out of uh what, venezuela Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> that is like. Look, I love whores. Okay. So, and what country would you go to? <laughs> Thailand. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> nah, man. The, the whores in Venezuela are uh, revolted, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. They don't. They don't want that shit no more. They say gringos get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no more passport, bros. I'm sorry, y'all. It's done. Gotta it's cross done. that one off the list. Yeah, Venezuela, I, yeah. man. Uh, Man, heard you get treated like a king. I mean, I wouldn't know. You know. I'm too broke, you know. Maybe that's why you got that cut. You know, you was <laughs> making a trip over the water. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's gonna yeah. go over there and be Mr. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go over there and be King Dingling. Like, like, you know, come on. All right, I'll settle for Emperor. Like whatever, you know. Uh, it's yeah. all good. Nah, man, that shit's crazy. Uh, they in the streets burning stuff and everything. I'm like, damn, a little dick and some money did this to the whole country. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, they're mad, man. I, and I don't understand why. Like, it don't make no sense. I'm gonna have to look into. The dick wasn't good. Yeah, <laughs> but you're still getting money for it. I don't know. Hey, man. See? What about their dignity? You say what? <laughs> <laughs> what about their dignity? <laughs> I mean, it's just it's terrible, man. What I guess happened? whores can be choosers. Yeah, they uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the south of us. Yeah, a lot. Like even I think was it Argentina? Where, where's Puma at? I think it's at Puma. 
You said Puma? The Argentina. Like, they their currency dropped. Like, you got all kinds of stuff going on right? I don't in know. the world. You don't know nothing about know. that? That was a while money. ago. That's old the news. The dollar is king, so I don't know. And most of the The dollar is king until bricks comes through. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bricks ain't nothing. <laughs> bricks ain't nothing. Yeah. All right, uh, you guys. Why y'all looking at me? I swear to God. You, you, why you, are you so self conscious today? You just like, oh, like, I'm just staring at me. Oh, teeing them oh, segues like, and shit. Not, not at all. I, I figured there was more to the course. You say what? I thought there were more to that. You know, that's all. I mean, you know, there probably could be, but you know, one of these crazy scenarios, <laughs> like, oh, would you rather do ninety percent or ten percent? I don't do this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. This would be the moment where. Somebody would pull out their phone and you got a couple questions to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that somebody? Man, who, who could that be? Is that, that Alex? Person, man. No, Kyle, like, he'd be like, which side of the glory hole would you rather be on? <laughs> <laughs> but Damn you, you got to pick his one. You said like, his name, man. I'll well, bleep it out. out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the type of stuff he'd be coming with. Oh. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not him. You know? Different. I know sometimes y'all are like a tandem. Like y'all be you know, right, piggybacking off each other. No, Kyle yeah. Jack, my whole style of doing this shit. Yeah. All right. You Damn it, I said his name again. You know how every every hotel has a cuck chair? Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And a glory hole is the toilet the cuck chair? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is the glory hole in front of the cuck chair? No, nah, like is if you're at a glory hole, mm -hmm. is the does toilet. the toilet become the cuck chair? I mean, I guess the person who's in the stall, you know, <laughs> like adjacent <laughs> to the middle one is. That's just efficient. Yeah. <laughs> you can take a <laughs> shit and watch your girl get fucked. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what if you were just sitting there and then somebody came in and you're like, ew. Like, sorry, this is going to take me five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you be sitting there, you got to like shit something fierce. You got to wait till somebody get off. Glory Hole is the most efficient way, man. Because <laughs> like, once yeah. you're done, you got napkins there to clean up right after <laughs> mm -mm. say napkins, yeah, I say, you got napkins. <laughs> toilet paper whatever you got the little so seat dinner the in seat the back cover. how do, how do, we, <laughs> got, how do we get on the, the shit topic without I'm just one saying one thing leads to another man. Uh, so really glory hole is like the valet of sex that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, tinder before tinder existed I went scrolling through twitter just That's checking problem. to see if there's an update. Still nothing. Nothing. Kung Fu Kenny. Mm. Maybe still in the Saturday dojo. Night. Maybe. Maybe, Saturday. maybe. Ain't that when uh, Drake dropped his shit? Mm. Oh, like it was, it was a Saturday. Friday. It was a Friday? It was oh, it was a Saturday. No, it wasn't. No, it might be. Because we did the show Friday. No, was, I was like, yeah, it's coming soon. And then it dropped Saturday. Yeah. Okay, it was so we, we still got a few. We got a day or whatever. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, wait, you think he's just going to respond week. within a week? I mean, he's had like. Four it's had years. a while. <laughs> <laughs> People talk uh, about that. I mean, like, I would much rather it be just something brand new, but that's just me. Mm. Something brand new, like a just single, completely new, not, not not like one that's been in the chamber for four years. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, 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 definitely. I yeah. mean, you can recycle some lines. Nobody's gonna know. Yeah, I mean, somebody will know. AI's uh, gonna drop before him. Say who? AI AIK dot's gonna drop something before you do. <laughs> I already <laughs> have. <laughs> At least two two songs yep. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, the world they, we live in crazy times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We taking you guys out. All right. All points podcast. This has been the episode. Uh. 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 Okay. Here we here we go. Here we here we here we go. You know me, man. I got the flow. Jay Krigler <laughs> on the track. Yeah. Get back. Your mama come up, then she's gonna get slapped yeah, on she her booty. Get slapped I, right on her booty. And if she don't know, she was really a cutie. Uh, but I ain't rapping about you. I'm rapping about her. Yeah. Because I had her in the bed and she was like, err. Err, err. That's how we do it. It's real good. And you know that we threw it. Because yeah. when we go and spit it, pass it to Sam. I ain't got nothing. But goddamn. <laughs> the beaver <laughs> building up a damn. Fuck all this shit. I'm about to slam the goddamn microphone down, pass it off. Because I'm about to go home and jack it off. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing. <laughs> I know he's got nothing. <laughs> he be fronting. I can't. Oh, I can't. Stuntin'. I can't finish after that. <laughs> Fuck the meat chicken. No. <laughs> Fuck this has been the All Points Podcast. We want to thank you for Fuck listening in. Chicken. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I was gonna shout out the show, but you know it's too late for that. Excuse but, me. Uh, it's too late. The show for tomorrow? Yeah. Hold up. You mean On something that comes last... out next Tuesday? Yeah. The you, show you, last week. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. But like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, um, in work coming soon. I go by the name of A2. I go by Red Good. Yo. Midwest. And Jonathan the Great. And we are out of here.